Hi, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio with a follow-up to my previous video. If you saw that video, then this wall art looks familiar to you. And you'll remember that in the last video, I showed you some impressive cut recovery features of QT Plasma C. However, prior to that video, when I had used those cut recovery features, I had tried to find a way to quickly get back to a certain uh, cut that was needed by tapping on the cut lines in hopes that that would uh, bring up uh, a, a, a cut recovery option and wasn't really finding that cut recovery option. And I also had tried tapping on lines over in the, the G-code file listing. That also didn't work. So at that time, I incorrectly assumed, presumed, that the feature that I was hoping existed didn't exist. So I have some good news and it's more cut recovery yumminess. And that is that I went to the forum for Linux CNC, mentioned another completely unrelated uh, uh, thing, another completely unrelated question, and just happened to link my most recent video, which showed some cut recovery efforts in action. And some of the developers uh, responded, which it's really great that you can dialogue with the Linux CNC developers on the Linux CNC forum. But uh, one of them happened to watch the video and then happened to comment that they do have the feature uh, that I was thinking didn't exist. And he noticed that I simply had to restart a cycle of the job, then pause for cut recovery, and then just kind of manually hold down the fast forward button and cut recovery to get through all these cuts, trying to get back to the one that I needed to cut, which in that case was this one right here. And he re responded to me on the forum and said, hey, look, there's a feature you can enable that makes it easier to get back to the cut that you need to, to do. And I was just thrilled. So he mentioned that it was a parameter, uh, excuse me, he mentioned that it was in the settings. So uh, it's called run from line. So I'm tapping on settings. And let me mention that you can see it right here, run from line. And by default, it was not enabled. And so I turned it on and it works beautifully. And I went back to the forum and said, this is amazing. Why is this awesome feature disabled by default? And he explained some prior history that was the reason why and something wasn't working right. If someone tried it within a subroutine, I tried to follow all of it. And uh, he and another of the developers were dialoguing. And then he said, maybe since it's working great now, we should default this to being turned on. And the other developer chimed in with a plus one. And so the good news is that for future users using a newer edition of a QT Plasma C on Linux CNC, maybe you'll get this feature enabled by default. But for now, be sure to go into settings and then check mark this run from line feature. Let me show you how it works. I'll go back to the main screen and here is this familiar globe, world globe wall art that I needed to run cut recovery in the last video. I needed to run cut recovery on this piece right here. So the way that it works, once it's enabled, you put the mouse on the line where you want to start and you tap. And when you tap that, then this begins to say, would you like to go forward from selected line 56,306? And it highlights the specific G-code line that causes that line to cut. And it gets even better. Uh, you can tell it when you go to start, you can tell it that you want to add a lead in. So for example, you'll notice that I didn't click the lead-in line, I clicked the first line after the lead-in line. So if I, uh, let me go ahead and, and power up and then go ahead and home everything so I can actually get motion working. You'll notice right now I have the torch not enabled so I can safely do this 
test um, with, with my uh, torch not cutting anything. So it's already homed Z and it's uh, just finished homing X and now it's homing Y. And I've just got a piece of scrap sitting here so that I don't get uh, an error when it tries to probe to the metal. And so uh, watch what happens. Let me back off on the globe here, scroll out. Watch what happens here when I go uh, selected line 56, 306. It will say, would you like to use a lead in? I'm going to say yes, give me a lead in, and I'm going to say load that. And when it loads that, it filters out all of the previous uh, G code before that line, except for needful things like unit of measure and some other things that are normally at the head of the file. And it gives me a newly filtered version of that G code file that has the one thing that I needed uh, just right at the forefront and ready to start. Uh, so right now, this button has changed to say run from line cycle start. And if I tap this, then it will start running the job right from that point. So cool. Hi, this is Doug Joseph with Design 8 Studio. If you like our content, please click like and subscribe. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And until the next video, I wish you happy making.